Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with a Scentsy Club haul to share with you today. As you saw from that thumbnail, I have the new size of cotton cleanup in this haul that we're gonna save until the end to discuss because I have some thoughts. And I plan on doing some testing and comparisons, anywho. That'll be at the end, or maybe a separate video. We'll see. And as far as this club, it hasn't actually shipped since August of 2023 because I've learned of a new hack to skip without skipping. Uh, so if you want more information on that, check out my Scentsy Club edit video that was about a month ago. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below. So even after that video, I made a few more cuts that we will also talk about. Um, I guess let's talk about now. Blue Christmas was another scent that I love. That it, you know, I only want to warm it about one to two months a year. So it got the boot. <laughs> uh, feeling punchy got the boot because I prefer a different scent that's in my club more that are kind of along the same line. Um, let's see. Love and Kisses Mini also got cut um, simply because the price of <laughs> this licensed bars went up. And I have two licensed bars in here that are must haves. And Love and Kisses Mini, I could just, I could cut it and not feel like, you know, I had to have it or regret it. Um, and I also cut Vitamin S Soothe. Uh, because I have another kind of similar along the same line scent in here that's a must keep and has great performance. Better performance than the Vitamin Sue. So those are the cuts I made after the video. I also had in there Candy Apple, which I've never smelled before. It is a returning, it was returning in the Brick Holiday Brick collection last year. I did not get the brick size of it because I just wasn't sure whether I would like the scent or not. So I put the bar in the club just to be on the safe side. So let's talk about that one first, I guess. Candy Apple. It is tart green apple with sweet candy accent. That's a pretty simple description. And the label just has some apples really all I can make out on there. Some apple slices, green wax. Okay, so this is supposed to be similar to Bath and Body Works winter candy apple, which to my nose, Bath and Body Works version doesn't have much scent to it. Um, and it just kind of smells waxy. This, I do get a little bit of a sweet green apple scent with just an underlying kind of uh, perfumey body care almost type note to it. I do like this. Um, I tend to like sweet and fruity scents though, so yeah, I wouldn't have minded actually having that in a brick. <laughs> um, we'll see how it does on performance though. Like I said, I have not tried that one yet. And then another one that I put in the club for this shipment because I don't plan on placing an order with Scentsy in the month of March. I know it's crazy. I'm trying to stay under the um, dollar amount where I get a tax form because all of the money that I make is almost all mine. <laughs> I'm just making my money back. So if I can stay under the tax cutoff of what I make back of my own money, that's the goal for this year. Anyway, I did go ahead and place in the club Cotton Candy Tells. It is the scent of the month for March this month. And it is wild strawberry hops into a fluffy fantasy of creamy caramel and sweet spun sugar. I don't know how all of that will combine. I'm looking on the label. We've got some Easter eggs, some flowers it looks like. some grass. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Okay, that caramel note is not good. 
Oh, okay. So some scents smell the same on the top versus the bottom. This one does not, not to my nose. On the bottom, I do get more of the sweet sponge sugar. On the top, I'm getting a weird caramel, burnt caramel kind of note. I'm hoping what I get here is what it actually smells like. Um, yes, I get a strawberry, but it is kind of, I guess, diluted with the spun sugar. Yeah, we shall see. So those are, I think, maybe both wins. We'll see how they perform. Now, for scents that have been in my club for a while, this is the smallest club that I've had in quite a while, if ever. Yeah, maybe the first time it shipped, it was smaller, but okay. My favorite apple scent from any vendor is Apple Press. And it is the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apple, juicy pear, and a hint of the last full roses of the summer. You wouldn't know a rose scent is in here if you weren't told. Uh, it's not floral. It is just a touch fall, but not in a spice cinnamon way at all. It's just that fresh kind of leaf, crunchy leaves. Oh, so fresh, strong performer in my club in twos. <laughs> Next is Ice Hotel and another one that will stay in there as long as I have my club. It is crystalline ice, white snow, as you breathe in, cool, magical fragrance of blue mint, arctic pine, and winter citrus. This is a hard scent to describe, but it smells cooler, like cold. It's your, I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but it smells cold. And when I have it melting, I save this for like the summertime when it's hot. And the air conditioners having a hard time keeping the house as cool as I like because it helps make the room feel cooler and fresher at the same time without peppermint. Thank you. Mm, just love that. I kind of wish I had two of these in there. Maybe if it ever comes back and bring back my bar, I'll up it to two. And then we have Atlantic Air. And this is the one that I consider to be similar to the Vitamin Soothe type of scent. They are completely different scents, but you know, in that aquatic kind of fresh air type way. This is Ocean Mist, Sea Salt, and White Orchid. And yes, there's the White Orchid, but it's a fresh note, not a floral note. A little bit, just a touch of saltiness and this crisp kind of ocean breeze types note and a strong performer as well. Desert Rock and Citron is fresh water accented with lemon, mint leaf, and warm desert rock. I don't know how they do it, but it kind of smells like a rock <laughs> with a fresh kind of masculine body wash type scent. Um, compared maybe to like an Irish Spring. It doesn't smell like Irish Spring, but along those lines. It's got that freshness, which I guess comes from like that mint leaf. I love it. This was from the Father's Day collection of 2023. Um, more for medium average size rooms though. And then Lavender Violet. The best lavender marshmallow scent you've ever smelled. <laughs> this is Spun Sugar, Lavender, and Violet with Marshmallow. And you get kind of the herbal from the lavender but also a little bit of floral lavender from that violet I think just the sweet body care marshmallow mm. that I really think this club I like cut down to what I absolutely felt like I had to have other than the two that I hadn't smelled before the rest of these are what I feel like I really have to have otherwise why purchase wax at all kind of thing okay two more these are both licensed so yes they pri the price increased for these and 
you know, Love and Kisses Mini is the one licensed bar that I had in there that I felt like I could do without. But these are must-haves for me. Turning red. This was not um, out for very long. It was a limited time offer in March of 22 when the um, movie came out. This is pomegranate, cherry, and sugar cane with a vibrant orange. So first to me is the pomegranate with a lot of juicy cherry and a little bit of orange in there just to kind of give it a little zest. Mm. I love it. It was not that popular of a scent, but there's still plenty of us that like it. <laughs> and then one that I was surprised wasn't more popular is the Scooby-Doo Zoinks. This is pink pineapple, sweet strawberry, and tangy clementine. So to my nose, this is just a really nice, well done pink pineapple scent. And it is a decent, it's a medium performer, maybe strong. I need, I still need to try this in the living room to see how well it does in a larger area. I normally melt this in this room and it does very well. Yeah, like a pink pineapple scent. So that's the club. Now let's talk about, did I use this as my half price item? I think, I think maybe I did because I feel like what we are charged for the cotton cleanups is ridiculous. I thought that before when they were larger, even at $6 before that price went up. And now we're paying $6 for the smaller ones. So I'm pretty sure I used my half price item to get this bag of little bitty new cotton cleanups. Yes, this is small. I was very surprised um, that it was even in the box. Actually, you saw the size of the box here. <laughs> and it was in there. There's no way that the old hot cleanups would have fit. Which, by the way, I happen to have a bag of the old. Not, I will say, not the original size of the cotton cleanups. Because they didn't announce when they shrunk a little bit in the larger size. Around the time, I think, that the price went up to $10 for the larger size, they also shrunk a little bit. So here's the normal size. And I just had this in my stash. And here, I have to back up a little, is the small. So there's still 25 here, 25 here. Um, turn them this way. These are just, I mean, these are almost the size of cotton ball, the large super jumbo cotton balls. So I'm just completely going away. And I will be weighing and testing these out. And I may just add it to the end of this video. Anyway, I'm gonna open this up now that I've shown this to you. And pull one out, actually look at it. Um, I just noticed this. So, you can see there's almost a hole or a gap there in the center where these are spun together or wrapped around. I don't remember ever seeing that. No. I don't remember ever seeing or noticing that in the old ones because it's not there in the old ones. So I don't, here's the old. Here's the new. Seriously, y'all. Oh my gosh. So they are about the same height. <laughs> but this is a lot looser. The new ones are a lot looser. And you can see that, uh, there we go. And you can see in the center where there's basically not anything. Ridiculous, okay. I also have a scale that I wanted to weigh these on. I'm just curious now if they're all like that or. Yeah. 
yeah, you can see where the center is on these. You could not see that on the old ones. It was stuffed to the brim. <laughs> I mean, I can't even push that on the old. So let's, all right, I'm going to pick up the camera. We're just gonna go ahead and do this on this video. I'm gonna pick up the camera and go over to the scale so we can weigh these. Go ahead and put those over there. And of course the cardboard will be some of the weight. I don't want you to get dizzy while I'm moving you, so let's go over here. All right. Hmm. I mean, look at this. That's ridiculous. Okay. Of course, there will be people that love them as they are and be willing to pay that. Actually, let's start with the big one. Eight point three one grams, and of course, some of that, yes, is going to be the little handle there. So two point three nine, so about what a quarter of the size. Okay, so I ended up accidentally messing up the one we initially weighed. So I was pulling out another one and pulled out a few of the small ones, the new ones, and notice that there is a distinct difference, uh, several things actually, in the newer versions. So compared to the old, the new ones are not wound as tight. They are a darker color. They are much more variating sizes. Um, and even how they're put together is different. You know, you can see the center in these three and in this one, you can see it's like the thick pieces were just folded in half. You can see the seam all the way to the edge here. Let's see if I can get that closer. You can see this center piece goes all the way to the edge. So it's almost like it was folded in half instead. And then around that is this band, you know, to make it look nice, I guess and which is also distinct here, the band on the outside. I've never noticed that in the old versions, not to say that's not how they're done, but with all of those um, differences, in my opinion, these new ones are made from a different company, probably a company that would make them for cheaper. My guess would be cheaper materials, but I don't know that for sure, it's just my, thoughts. Um, I know all companies are looking for, you know, better prices in producing products. Anyway, it's just the economy we're in right now. And I have a feeling this is just like everything else. This is shrink shrinkflation at its finest. Um, yeah, and we just have to deal with it. I didn't even like paying $6 for the larger size. And then they got smaller without even announcing it. And now, and then they raised the prices of the old version to $10 for 25. And now we've gone down back to $6, but for about a quarter, we'll say a third, for a third the size, um, for back to the initial price. So, you know, it's not something I'm gonna buy all the time, but I never even bought the big ones all the time either. So let's get to soaking up some wax, right? With these new versions. I think um, I'm gonna go middle of the road. I'm gonna test with this one. That one looks the smallest. This one looks the biggest. These two, I think are pretty similar. Actually, that's smaller. So I'm gonna go with kind of the medium size out of all of them and of course, we can weigh them, uh, let's see, to see if the way they look is matches their actual weight. So I think this is the smallest at 3.09, which is actually larger than the initial one that was weighed, 3.46, 3.33, yeah, so about what I was thinking. Oh, this is the biggest, right? 
3.89 I forget what was that yeah okay we're gonna go with this one I think this weight wise is middle of the road okay I'm going to pause the recording until I get to a warmer so we can see it soak up the wax okay so here we go this is two cubes of Scentsy wax not the smallest cubes not the two largest kind of middle of the road here and we're gonna see how fast and we're gonna see if we can soak up another warmer's worth which would be another two cubes so this is real time I'm not speeding this up at all um, does look like the bottom part of this is kind of I don't want to say falling apart but loosening okay so now we're gonna to get to that second warmer real quick okay second warmer here we go so I I've always had issues getting the full height of the cotton cleanups to soak up wax it does look like this is slowly soaking it up and if it does soak up all of this that means that it will do four cubes you may have to roll it around a little bit to use those that top edge I'm gonna say at best this is gonna do three cubes without extra effort. I think it's pretty much stopped absorbing. Let's see if we can turn it on its side and get it to absorb some more. Okay, I'm going to say this easily is not going to pick up four cubes. Bless you, Jakey. And, okay, we're going to say three cubes at best with the new ones. And, curious, yeah. I think because it's a looser woven cotton it's going to drip probably a little bit especially if we push it to try to make it so cut that fourth one right okay again real time yeah I just for me these are personally not going to be something I purchase all the time. I will have a pack like I had with the older ones on hand in case I'm just really wanting to use these for us some reason, but all right, so there you have it. We're going to call it, at best, three cubes. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day and week and month and year, etc. Thanks for stopping by.